hollow. So this is the game that took Arzak to 1500 one rating. He plays, he stars arena, he basically plays, prefers to play arena. So we'd say that, uh, but I mean, 1500 ELO is 1500 ELO, no matter what, so. Uh, well, well, he labeled, he labeled the game Arsac of the Godless. And as far as I know, Kmur and uh, God of the Godless, that uh, means a new innovative approach to a ridiculously fat castle with Kmur into, yeah, double siege workshop push or something like that. We'll see what happens. And our main focus is going to be on Arshak. He actually seeds a farm very early here. You can do that only uh, with Khmer and the other civilization. You need a mill first. But this is all going to be about the food and a little bit about the gold to get to the castle age with a ridiculous timing here. So we'll see how it uh, pans out here. I'm pushing in the deer, of course, as close to the TC as possible to maximize food income here. There's still sheep to be eaten, cows. Oh, cows, that's nice, actually, because... Uh, uh, well, they contain more food, so you could ask more villagers to them, I guess, and get better food output. Even though it's basically the same gather rate as sheep. Note the absolute minimum of walking distance here. You want this, this just has to be optimized. The timing of um, bringing in the resources and uh, not walking too far for the houses, everything. You could have been a bit of a panic house as well, just to not get housed here, but um, here we go. Uh, quick look at the scouting, didn't scout the enemy yet for obvious reasons, needs to push deer. Some sheep up here, all sheep and cows in place, good placement of the boar underneath the TC, so how's that gonna be? That's actually fine, looks a bit uh, cramped there, but uh, yeah, good to go. So this is going to be all, all about the food, and then at some point you'll go to gold, just to make sure you have the gold for um, for castlage, but uh, you don't really need to stress that yet, because um, uh, feudlage only costs food, and being queer, you don't need two prerequisite buildings to click up. Uh, it's... Okay, it actually doesn't show here, but in team games it would show the buildings needed as well. All about the Titanics, ooh. Oh yeah, the... You mean the... Uh... Arena Invitational now, huh? <laughs> Mining camp at 15. That's the 15th villager going to gold here. I think this build is like 19 plus uh, 0 or something as on such. It's just an absolutely ridiculous... Uh, I don't, ooh, cramp here. Yeah, only 3 deer, that's correct. I, I saw the deer. Uh, for this build to really, really work, you need those four deer map generations because you're absolutely desperate for enough food to get to the gas stage. Having one farm does provide a bit more food to get there, though, so it helps out a bit. But it's uh, it might mess up the timing a bit. We'll we'll have a little look at the idle TC here before going to to the uh, gas stage, notably to see how it pans out. It's all on food here. It's like 16 on food, one on wood because eventually you're gonna need houses and your production building, so you can't completely neglect wood either, I guess. Once you have the food needed here to um, yeah to go up through the ages, you'll task the villagers to wood to make sure you can offer the buildings as well in the gas stage. But first you need to deplete all the cows and sheep, of course, for maximum food output for the transition through the ages. Alright, so food count. 60 on food, 3 on gold. That's it. None on wood, none on anything. I don't know why I collected wood in the first place here, actually. And, you know, well, we found the enemy location. We found a point of entry to push here with that forward gold as well. That the forward builders building, building the forward buildings could maybe make use of the gold as well uh, at some point, just to get them working, but... Um, for now, no need to scout anything more necessarily. You're just, it's going to be all about pushing the enemy here and not so much about... Uh, wait, what's this guy up to? Oh, he's uh, probably going for the feudal... This is... If Sephiroth is going for the human's boom here, that's just 
perfect for um, for Arsak here because Arsak is going to be in the Castle Age fast-ish here. <laughs> he is, uh, due to missing that one deer, he's actually struggling for food here to click up. He has the farm working. He's for stopping food here, but yeah, uh, we're <laughs> panic gathering uh, food here too. <laughs> Okay, so it's not going to be lightning fast cast late, but considering that the Cubans player is probably going for the second town center here, this should still work well for the Khmer, no problem. No problem. Let's have a look at these guys, how much they're collecting. 11 builders. Yeah, just force drop this food and yeah, there we go. We're gonna go up here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, but the idle easy time though. Uh, Cumans dude has some significant idle TC time as well. Oh, what's what's with this? It's definitely going for the two CCs here, two TCs here. That means a delayed cast late as well, and uh, that's just perfect uh, with Kumur going for a lightning, not so lightning fat cattle anymore, but still a very fat cattle here, just below the 30, 30 minute mark. Is it? Oh, the margins here. Here comes the lumber camp. You need wood, lots of wood for the siege weapons. Still three on gold, consistently collecting gold. So we definitely have gold enough for the first, first forward uh, siege building here. This guy, he's he's just, oops, he's just chilling out here. He doesn't care. I mean, Cuban 2 TC boom, if you can get away with it in any situation, it's amazing, but you should never be allowed to in a 1v1 arena to get away with the Cuban double TC boom. He has wood and gold gold covered here, but suboptimal options to deal with, uh, with the siege push in the few days. You can mass some scouts, of course, or spears or whatever, but... Yeah, we'll see how it goes here. Cast age, just 30 seconds away now. That's going to be slightly over the 13 minute mark. But considering Sephiroth's resources here, going for the feudal, feudal boom here, it's still going to be a while until Sephiroth can get to that next age. Scout seems on point here, but the builders are already moving forward. Three builders, no one less. And I'm going to drop at least one siege workshop here. Preferably outside of line of sight. There it is. Yeah, Red won't be seeing this. Just still scouting the walls, wondering what the heck is gonna happen here. It's the gun and builders forward. Do we have Loom, by the way? Ah! Going forward without Loom! What is this? Hello there, farm man. Oh, I'm doing well, thank you. Having some beer, casting some games. Yeah, our sex, uh, he's crazy. He's not even getting it! <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, obviously you need gold for siege weapons, but <laughs> these are sitting ducks, man. Even the even the starting scout could kill almost two of these. Oh, look at this! Red. Did you see this coming? Surprise! <laughs> We're not even at the 15th minute here, and Arsak is pushing ahead with the first ram here. It's only one siege, one siege workshop though. It's fine, he'll quick wall. Yeah, with the infamous Cumans um, stone walls. Hey, he doesn't have the loom either. Sephiroth doesn't have loom. And here's the, um, the forward scorpions. Two of them now, which means that it's not going to be easy for the builders to fight out. And without loom, man, it's like one or two shotting them here. Ay, 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 Titanic for Sephiroth here. Oh my boy. Look at this! Get Loom! Seriously, Red, get that bloody Loom upgrade. He doesn't even have a barracks, he can't make scouts here against the siege weapons. Red is. Come on, Red. Double barracks. Oh, I think we're panicking here. You should add monks as the second building, this would be even better. Yeah, Capture has a point. Arsac knows all about monks. <laughs> so, I wouldn't uh, question... Um, I wouldn't rule out monks here. <laughs> Farman says, please put this on YouTube. Yeah, this needs to go to YouTube, for sure. No loom, though! Okay, yes, loom. Arsac does Ah, he doesn't care! Chad Burr Builder doesn't need loom. We're gonna make the forward forward work anyway. Aye, aye, aye. 
Boink! And the Magnus is out. We have three, four Scorpions, not five Scorpions. Builders battering down the ramp, but who cares? What's even inside this? <laughs> that's just, that's a gem eight if I ever saw one. Two unloomed builders inside of a battering ram here in red space. Yeah, counter scorps with spears. Perfect. Brilliant choice by Red here. Capture, this is 1500 ELO, by the way. <laughs> or it's the game that took Arsac to 1500 anyway. So I think Red is in a little bit of a panic mode here. And who wouldn't, honestly, when you get the siege weapons in your face just like this? Okay, we're, we're just really. Arsac is so greedy with his gold, he doesn't want to protect his forward build. There's not even the repairers here. Focusing down the scout with scorpions here. Did lose one scorpion, but um, yeah, he's doing all right. More scorpions, of course, in the queue still. Ah, two siege workshops now. Uh, wood situation, nice. No market to sell the stone, otherwise you'd have gold uh, through market selling stone as well. And now a panic lumber camp. Separate here, yes, ridiculous villagers lead. Arsac, obviously... Doesn't have eco, doesn't need eco. No farms. And why would they? Do the scorps range the TC? Yes, they do, because Khmer scorpions they have plus one range, so they outrange the TCs no less. TC without uh, any significant upgrades here. It's six plus zero. The scorpions have seven plus one, so they don't not only one, but since they're Khmer, there's actually two range longer than TCs. Stop making the fucking spearman! Ugh. I'm gonna. I gotta drink to this lovely non existent farm eco and the fact that Red is making spears to scout counter scorpions here. And if you are somewhat of a decent player at micro, scorpions, a spearman shouldn't work against scorpions. Oh. <clears throat> Oops. Yeah. All right. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at eighteen villagers. Arsac hasn't made a single villager since the Dark Age, mind you. And he's lost it. Well, he had, must have made a few because he did lose his four villagers. So he did go 21. More horror barracks! For fuck's sake, man, make at least. Make. I don't even know what to make here. Make. Make. Don't make spears. <laughs> Makes. I don't, I don't even know. Make scouts, right? 10 scouts, maybe? 6 scouts? I don't know how many you need to take out the siege. But if you split them up and get close to the scorpions, I do have minimum range. All of these weapons have minimum range. You need mobility or shitloads of spearmen, of course, but... Uh, uh, what am I looking at here? PC being killed by scorpions and... And uh, Magnus and enter the monks soon, of course. No Arsa game without monks. Oh, we have men at, men, excuse me. We have men at arms. I don't hate that. I don't hate the men at arms. But look at the scorpions threading here. They go down. Zephyr of still forever feud late here. This is not going anywhere for the red player. It's just. Oh, man at arms into GG for Sephiroth here. And Arsac takes the win with 90 milliliters to 40 here against humans. But guess what? He did get to the Castle Age, which is more than could be said about the Cubans here. So, a quick look at the stats here, like overall. What was the most made unit, actually? 12 Scorpions for Arsac, 32 Spears for Sephiroth, and that didn't do very much for Red, did it? Alright. Browsing through the stats here, let's have a look. Forty-nine eight KD. Yeah, send it, send it, Arsac. I'll um, hop into it later. Maybe depends on the duration of all the games, but I'll cast it sometime.
because that sounds intriguing. <laughs> Yeah, 1307. Uh, Arsak was missing. I mean, this build with Khmer, it, it's 19 plus 0, I think. Maybe even 18. Fast Castle, because Khmer don't need buildings to go up. And for that on Arena, you can go for it, but you need you need a gen an Arena generation with 4 deer. 3 deer, it's not gonna work. You could add a farm, but it's it's gonna shake thing, everything up. So you need 4 deer. And uh, and you're good if you push them close to the TC and absolutely maximize all your resource income because basically you you won't be making a mill. I'm not sure if Arsak even made a mill here. Yeah, he never made a mill, right? So you need the mill. Uh, you don't. <laughs> you actually don't build build a mill for this build, and you build the lumber camp after all of your starting food has been depleted. So it's a bit of a weird one, but uh, it's um, God of the Godless certainly made it work at the higher level as well. So. I'm not discouraging this move at all. 128 PM peak here. What a game. 